Fun. Fifteen all. Well done, Pina. Still hanging in there. A victory from the Oberoi sisters. Two points now for their first WTA final entry. Oh, well done, Pidak. 40-30. 40-30. Line. Advantage Oberoi. Gives the Oberoi sisters their first match point. What a great, what a great shot to hit on match point. Deuce. used to the crowd shouting she had a lot of that during her match with Sanya certainly the crowd as loud if not louder today Gansing Feather uh, after having a match point Uberoi Uberoi 5 games to 3 
which means that Neha Oberoi will now serve for a place in the Sunfeast Open WTA doubles final. Quiet, please. Thank you. On a second serve return, giving an easy first point to Neha and Shikha. Yes, I think what Nehan and Shikha need to do is look to attack Fidak because she's definitely been to been the weaker link in this third set. Fault. The umpire overruling that call. Linesman just a little late in calling. WTA final defeating Melinda Zink and Juliana Fidak. 7-6, 1-6, 6-3. Well-deserved victory. They played fantastic. And what a way to finish it off. What a way to finish it off. Nobody's sure whether it was right or out. Neha, of course, thinking it was a fault. Mahesh Oberoi, of course, just wondering. And then, of course, running onto the court. <laughs> and uh, jubilant scenes here. And of course, the sisters being cheered on by the crowd and all the sacrifices and the hard work paying off. There it is, the match recap. The Oberoi's Neha and Shikha over Melinda Zink and Juliana Pinak. 7 6 1 6 6 3. And uh, absolutely brilliant the scenes here. 
just hope now that Sanya, of course, makes it also to the final. And uh, we've got Charu at court side with the winners. Thank you. Well, let's just look at that sign up there. What's it saying? <laughs> Congratulations, truly. Neha, closer to me. Shikha, further away. All right, let's begin at the beginning. All right, the first set. Scrappy, but the tie break, you had it and then almost lost it, got it right back. Uh, Shikha, you first. Talk us through the first set. Uh, I think um, we had a couple um, volley errors, especially Neha. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, we started serving a little better and picked up the consistency and started staying more solid. So that helped us, you know, get back on top and get the momentum in the tiebreaker especially. All right, Neha, talk us through what your thoughts were when at the net you were absolutely spectacular in the first set. <laughs> Actually, I think it was more my returns. I was missing a lot of returns. You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah a lot of breakpoint opportunities we had to get up in the set. But, uh, you know, I just didn't want to keep re remembering that. I just kept going for my volleys and started making them in and when it really counted. Well, I did mean that Shikha was right there trying to sort of inspire you and motivate you because a lot of volleys at the net, Shikha, were not going exactly according to plan. No, they weren't. Um, I started missing a little bit. Um, <laughs> And, you know, I mean, putting, not putting away easy shots and those backhand swinging volleys. But I kept going for them because, you know, it's my shot. So I thought they'll come in, they'll come in, and they'll come in. I made a few, but I missed more. All right. Exhilaration, winning the first set, close set, tie break. <laughs> and then one six in the second. I mean, the crowd here, not a peep. <laughs> yeah, we, went, we, went flat in the, we went flat in the second set. We don't know what happened. But you all helped us through in the third a lot. Thank you so much. You were awesome. That's all that matters, you know. They helped us through in the third set. And if anybody wants to know what happened in the second set, it was all Neha's fault. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, you took my last question away about the crowd. You've already thanked them. Maybe you can do that again later. But, um, you know, because you're not likely to play Melinda and Juliana soon, right? Not today or tomorrow. Maybe you can share a game plan with us. Uh, certainly the attacking the Juliana serve seemed to be one. Yeah. You know, Juliana's second serve was like powder puff. And Neha's got a torpedo of a forehand. I mean, that's what people call it. And... She just kept drilling it. Um, that was one thing. But then again, they had some really good down the T serves, and Juliana kept poaching, and Melinda tried to poach a little too. Uh, I'd say I think they played really well for, you know, the crowd was completely on our side, and I think they really gave it their all and competed hard. So to give them a round of applause as well, even though they're not here. No question about that. That round of applause for the opponents who didn't make it to the final, Melinda and Juliana. And uh, also, finally, that celebration, a little out of the ordinary, your father jumping on in. How was that? Well, actually, we didn't even know we won the point. I thought she said let, but she said game set. <laughs> so I was, I was ready to serve again, but then we realized that it was match, and then we celebrated. And then I th this is our first final in a WTA event, and uh, I think my dad just couldn't hold it back. He had to come and... <laughs> why not? Why not? Okay, Shikha, did you ever think that you'd hit a doubles final before making moves in the singles arena? <laughs> Never. Not the way with, you know, especially with Neha, our doubles record. I mean, <laughs> we've lost too many matches. <laughs> we've lost a lot of matches. I'm just so surprised. <laughs> well, congratulations again. Enjoy the victory. And ladies and gentlemen, Shikha and Neha Oberoi through to the final. Match analysis. First serve percentage 51 as against 55 for Zink and Fidak. Not much really to choose from the two teams, 29 winners and 26 unforced errors for the Oberoi's and 26 and 26.